Garmin shows them going more north, but uh, I'm on them. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another one. I uh, spared you some of the morning BS this morning. Um, it's kind of a real crappy day. We had uh, a snowstorm rolling last night. Well, if you want to call it a storm, we got four to six inches of snow. We got 50 mile an hour winds, and the residual winds are still here. Uh, so we got a lot of wind blowing. So I didn't really know how today was going to go. So, but right now, we had one track coming in here and uh, I ended up finding two more once we got in here and uh, two more that we found were definitely the better tracks so dogs are actually down now and uh, they're rolling so with any luck we can scratch out a couple today we're gonna have to get lucky though I mean look at these I'm in all this brush here little wind drifts just in the brush here and it's halfway up to your hip and we only got four inches of snow so regardless we're out here hunting that's all that matters and uh see what we can make happen today but i'll update you guys as they go um probably won't do as much updating as i normally do just because i don't know how today's gonna go so, but obviously if we get hot and heavy in the action, um, I will uh, definitely turn the camera back on and uh, get what I can. So, other than that, we'll see you guys in a little bit. Hopefully, hopefully one of the next clips is me shooting a coyote. All right, everybody. Dogs are down and they're pounding. They let them go on two different coyotes, so... The dogs are split up. We think we have a split chase going on with two different coyotes, but one dog I can hear right up, right up here over the hill. He was coming right at me. It sounds like he turned again, but uh, I'm just going to walk up here top of the hill so I can hear him better, And uh, but I don't want to lose my vantage point here. As you guys can see, I can see it for a while down in here, and I got fairly open shooting and then a lot of the times if they come north they end up right down in here somewhere so there's guys in there already i'm kind of just going to hold my position here because i'm the last guy to the north um he might be coming back now i gotta look but i'll update you guys as soon as i know something again hopefully the camera just turns on and i'm smacking a coyote right here in this uh red brush
Streak's down here sight chasing this one. He just come by me. I couldn't shoot him. Streak is way too close. He's going to go back towards the Kirsch farm towards the west when he turned here. I've got it. Okay, Fred, you want to come north now? Well, hopefully you guys are able to see that. The coyote was right here, but the dog was the dog just too close. The dog was only 20 feet behind him, and you're talking a 50-yard shot. I could have killed the coyote, but the dog was way too close. My pattern's too big at that distance. Um, just obviously, just absolutely cannot take a shot like that. So we got close. Like I said, I had to safety was off, and the coyote was right here, but. He's still right here, dog's still pounding on it, so there's a chance he could come back, but hopefully you got to see it right there. You should have been able to. Um, I don't know, close, but just can't pull, you can't do a shot like that. Dog's way too close. So hopefully he makes another circle here and we can get, get on him. Coyote just broke, Jim. He's going north again. He's going to go north. I think I'm going to have Mike. He's with me. We're right between others and Kirk. I can see him. He's on my side. I'm going to have Mike go right across the field from the north. He's going south. Yeah, 10 4. Like I said, streak straight on this thing. I, he come by me again. Nothing I could do with it again. All right, everybody. So, hopefully, as you've seen there, both times, dog was just too close. Couldn't do nothing with it. Coyote walked right up, pretty much right up yeah, to me. Yeah, we got white boots. I haven't seen we can pull uh, back to those guys. It's gonna want to cross the snowmobile trail. No, I would definitely, I think, put Lightfoot in to him. Um, so, uh, with Anyways, the coyote come right up to like 10 yards from me. He come walked right to me. The dog was right behind him the second time. The first time, hopefully, you should have seen him a lot better. Uh, he was like 45-ish yards. Easy kill range, but the dog is just way too close. So we get to see the coyote, but uh, just got screwed with the dog being too close. So that's that. And... Uh, we got one killed already. Chris shot one and killed one. And then uh, Scotty missed one down here. This cat that we seen, he's come up and see me and he busted. And uh, is now going back south. And Scotty missed him, so. We got one coyote dead and uh, one coyote that's been shot at. So once they're shot at, you really never know what they're gonna do. Usually they try to line out, maybe get out of the block. Hopefully that doesn't happen and that's not the case and we can kill this thing quick and then get ready right down and going into into the next block so both dogs are together now again so hopefully we can get this one killed here pretty quick and uh get it sorted out hurry up and get into the next block so we can get some more killed today Mike P, are you going to come back and uh, take the southwest uh, corner and push in? Is 
Tech 4, Jim, I'm just coming up behind you. Good job. Jimmy, you copy that, Mike? On the west road. Chad got him. Chad got him right here in front of me. So, hopefully, uh, we can find him up here and, uh, both dogs are caught. We can find him here and, uh, get, Good job. We'll tell you get up help here. him. We'll and, be coming uh, out of snowmobiles here on Bur Burroughs Road. Oh, you oh, I just gotta find yeah, a place right to cross here. here. Chris, not very far from the Trail. Down for. Thank you. All right, everybody. Elvin. So, <clears throat> Chad was able to kill that last coyote, uh, kind of right in front of me. Um, might kill that one within a hundred yards ish of me. The coyote was just doing like rabbit circles in that brush, uh, right where he was doing them in front of me before. And uh, so, chicken moved in, or Chad moved in, got him killed, and uh, we got two coyotes out of that block. Chris killed one which is a really big male coyote that I have just an absolute ridiculous amount of trail camera pictures of. And uh, so, um, so we're out of that block. We're into a new block. And uh, I'm just cutting the snowmobile trail. Looking for tracks going north or south, but Chad says uh, he's got a pair of them that are uh, smoking fresh, so they're getting dogs at him. We're gonna be down and running, hopefully. Hopefully in this block, as soon as we're done, or as soon as I get the dogs going, we got tracks in another block if we get these two killed real quick. So hopefully, uh, yeah, Chad's saying there's tracks all over down there. So hopefully we can get these two killed quick and we can jump back up into the other block where we have coyote tracks now. Uh, Nick, so. we haven't heard from you. You're copying all this, right? We're gonna end up for sure here in the Sheldon Square. So hold on one second. Yeah, I'm copying. Which way is the tracks actually gonna be going? Are they going south? Yeah, I believe so. Uh... I'm just getting up by Chris now, so we'll be a few minutes yet, but I think, yeah, that's what Chad's saying, he believes south at the moment. 10-4. I did see a pair back here, but they're not nearly as good as what Chad's saying he has. Uh, you can't even hardly tell uh, on the trail here. So, um, right now we're just getting dogs to them, so we're going to get rounded up and, uh, Get things sorted out to get dogs up and rolling and hopefully i'm again i'm the furthest one out of it but this seems to be a pattern this year and somehow here recently i keep ending up uh, right in the middle of everything so right now okay, i'm just gonna walk this and uh make sure there's no other tracks coming north um tracks chad has they're going south so i'll turn you guys back on once i know what's going on and uh once we get something figured out here but more tracks they're good we'll be down and going before we know it so all good news
my gun malfunctioned. Okay, it's gonna be north of the Snowmobile Trail. All I got was a click. Bad shell nicker, or didn't climb the bolt home. Bad shell. That hurts. Fuck. 15 yards, easiest shot in the world. I can't even begin to even fathom to tell you guys how frustrating that was. That was like the easiest shot in the world could have possibly ever asked for on camera. On, it was perfect. My gun clicked on me. Bad shell cost me a coyote. I can't even begin to tell you guys how frustrating that is. They're right up from us, between you and I, right here at the edge of the road. Right so, up in these pine trees. Yep, right between us. Anyways, the coyote's gone. Right there, Chris. He's He's seen right me, there. 100%. I think his eyes got about the size of softballs when my gun clicked. He's only 20 yards max. So he heard my gun click. He looked right at me, got all wide-eyed, and uh, now he's trying to blow the block. I, I can't tell you how frustrated I am with that. I, uh, boy oh boy, boy oh boy oh boy, I can't tell you. But regardless, we're going. Pushing north, they just turned again. I guess they're coming back this way. So maybe we'll get lucky and have another shot here. But whew. yeah, I can't even uh can't even begin to tell you how frustrating that was. All right, everybody. Just a quick update. We killed another one. We believe it's. At this point, it's pretty obvious that it was just a side coyote. It wasn't the coyote that the dogs were running. It just happened to be another one that was in here. One of the guys, uh, Scotty, killed it. So we're up to three on the day. This coyote here just keeps toying with us on the snowmobile trail. But right, right here, uh, we just he's just going back and forth, making big, big circles. That line where we dumped it, Chad, where he jumped him. So. Cut the dogs loose. Right now it's just been kind of a cluster, but uh, the dogs, the dog and the coyote have crossed here two, uh, two and three other Where times. I've recovered myself from my gun mishap here. That unbelievable. I don't. I mean, what are the chances of that? That I happen to put the shell in that wasn't going to go off today? Just unbelievable circumstances. Anyways. Um, they're way south of us again, and uh, um, so we're going to be out of it for a little bit again until hopefully either they kill it down there or he comes back this way. If he comes back this way, I'm going to move up. I think Chicken's moving back to the south again. If he is, I'm going to take his spot, and uh, one of us should kill it here soon. But. Um, just a crazy morning so far, so I'll update you guys again here in a little bit. All right, everybody. So <clears throat> this uh, this coyote made one big loop way to the east, and uh, he kept making the same swing, but he would differentiate. He, this time he made a completely different swing, except for when he went to the north, he made the same swing to the north. Elvin was down there, and uh, he just killed it. So four coyotes so far today i don't know if we're gonna jump into a new block or not it's only 1 30 so i couldn't be happier today was the last day of the season i think we did all right um <laughs> um 
so I don't really know what their plans are if we're gonna jump into a new block or not but I'll definitely get a whole bunch of video here at the end of uh, hopefully all the coyotes we stay on a hustle I know make it home in time too. I know uh, a couple of the guys gotta uh, take off and head out but uh, I don't know what the I don't know what the rest of the group wants to do. If it was me, I don't know how much longer we're going to have conditions. I'd be saying run all day. Um, but never know. Four coyotes in a day. It's pretty friggin' good. Um, so, I don't know. We'll see. I'll let you guys know. I'll get some video of the coyotes and uh, throw some pictures in here at least. And then I'll talk to you once I know more of... Uh, what we're gonna do here. So I'll see you guys in a bit. That's the one I was always sending you. This one, okay. That one right there. German Shepherd. He's running right at me. I hit him right there. Hmm. Then fold him right up. Were you on the oh, north yeah. or south side of the Soulville path? Yeah. He jumped up on his back legs. Yeah, I felt sorry for Elvin in there. Yeah, that's the one we've been looking for. <laughs> we've been trying to get a little blood on his tail. I did, I heard him hit, but I heard him. Oh, yeah. But you shocked him on one. Okay.